Hello, welcome to Living Hope, where there's always hope with God. Tonight we're getting ready for prayer. Glad you guys could join us. Um, we're seeking the Lord's will, um, really encouraging each other to make Jesus the priority and not the afterthought. Um, tonight we want to make sure that we're um, seeking His will and we're reverent. And so as people jump in, we want to... Um, continue to stay focused when God gives us something um, we want to trying to get this thing stopped technical difficulties oh, there it is <laughs> There we are, getting that fixed up. So let's pray. Father, we come before you and we bless you for this opportunity. We pray, God, that your spirit would come and direct us in the way we pray tonight. We pray, God, that you remove um, our own understanding from clouding, clouding the reality of your will. I pray, God, that your will is promoted, it is exalted, and that we would just praise you for what you've done and what you're going to do. We ask God that you'd bring us into unity as a nation. And we thank you that you're already starting the work, even though we don't see it. We thank you, Lord, that you're using this to further the gospel message. And people are getting saved. Even though we don't see the, the fullness of it, Lord, we thank you for it's just starting and it's about to grow. We thank you, Lord, that people are getting healed, that people are getting delivered. People are operating in forgiveness, and we thank you, Lord, that there's more forgiveness to come. Father, may your spirit pour out into us power, and may we be motivated by love. I pray that you'd break the strongholds, Lord, over people's lives, that you would break us from, uh, break us from doubt, break us, Lord, from discouragement, break us from those things, Lord, that the world likes to feed into our minds we pray god for renewed mind we pray for a heart transplant we pray god for revelation mm. revelation lord I, I thank you that the spirit teaches us the deep things of god we pray god that we would learn and be instructed in those things that we would go past just milk and eat solid meat father remove remove barriers and burdens right now Remove the burden of pain, physical and emotional. Remove the burden, Lord, of um, memory. For sometimes our memories are stirring up the problem and we need it cut off in Jesus' name. Remove, Lord, the hurtful words that were spoken to us. Remove the failures that uh, have seemed to attach itself to our lives and describe us as a failure so that we can operate in the newness of life. That's what we need to pray again. In the newness of life, Father, we pray that you would bring us into greater revelation of the newness of life, of what we have available as children of God, of what we can do as priests and kings and uh, the authority we have, Lord, as your chosen people. And I pray that you'd remove um, once again, our experiences that contain us in this world. Father, we pray for more. We pray for an abundant increase. And God, let, let your love be poured out. Let your love be poured out. Help us, Lord. Help us grow. Father, we pray for those who are struggling in health right now that you would just bring an anointing upon their bodies right now that you would drive out physical pain that you would drive that you would mend bones god that you would uh restore cartilage that you would release tension lord in muscles and that you would ooh, i pray that you'd release tension in muscles right now and father i also ask that you would uh relieve pressure on nerves Ooh, come on Lord, we pray that the Holy Spirit begins to show us how to pray. Show us, Lord, the gifts that we would call those things out that you call out. Let us represent you. Father, I pray for a mantle. I pray for anointing. I pray, God, for... Uh, ooh, 
I pray for revenue, spiritual revenue, God. And let our bank account add up, God. Let our bank account add up. Let our spiritual bank account be full. Let us withdraw, Lord, when we need um, the things of God. And I pray, God, for a refreshing right now within the body of Christ. And guys, I, I we're going to do something a little different right now. It just came to me. We're going to confess. And right now, you don't have to put that in here, but we need to confess. So right now within your heart or wherever you're at, confess those things that are holding you down. Confess it. So Lord, we confess that we've allowed the enemy to take control because we did not stand. We confess, Lord, that uh, we have not operated, Lord, with a focus on you. We, we confess our complacency. We confess, Lord, that we've been too comfortable and we have not made our spiritual life a priority. And we confess, Lord, that we've sinned against you. And we've exalted other things. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you hear a confession. Lord, we confess, Lord, that we have a wrong mind. We've had bad thoughts. We've spoken poorly to our family and friends. We confess those things. We confess, Lord, that we've uh, taken your name in vain. We confess, Lord, that we have not done good. And thank you, Lord, that you've forgiven it all. Thank you, Jesus. All right, guys, we're going to pray in a different one. Lord, we confess that you're faithful. We confess, Lord, that you're loving. We confess, Lord, that you're powerful. We confess, Lord, that we are no longer sinners. We are saints. We confess, Lord, your promises over our lives that you forgive us, you heal us, and you will deliver us. We confess those things so we can go forward from here in Jesus' name. And Father, I want to pray over Brian. I pray uh, that you would heal him from the MS and that you would really stir up in his in his body, Lord, um, something to counteract the problem. And the th then the counteraction would grow greater than the issue. Father, I pray for Brian not to walk in discouragement. I pray for Brian to be healed and relieved. And Lord, I, I, I pray that Brian would begin to speak and do um, greater things for you. So lay upon him, Lord, peace, healing, power, and victory in Jesus' name. We confess not coming into agreement with who Jesus is, is saying we are. Amen. That's a good Amen. confession. Father, we confess that we have not agreed with you. And by not agreeing with you, we've agreed with the enemy. Yes. Break those plans. Break that agreement, Lord. Help us line up and let the overflow begin to happen right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Father God, we just thank you for this time. We thank you, Father, for allowing us this time to... Uh, Lift each other up in prayer and lift up the, the prayer of so many. I thank you, Father, for your faithfulness, for your goodness, for um, hearing those prayers that are spoken and those that are unspoken, Father. I pray that you would just um, intercede on our behalf, and I pray that we would be intercessors for mm. those who who don't have a voice. I pray, Father, mm. that you would Good just work. help us to um, be sensitive to your spirit, be sensitive to your leading that we would be in alignment with your word, that we would be in alignment with your Holy Spirit, that we would not be operating in ourselves, but that we would be sensitive to what you have for us, Father, that we would be, um, that we would walk in victory, that we would walk in um, an anointing. And I pray, Father, that you would help us to walk um, in abundance. I know there are many people that are struggling or having a hard time and, um, it's all the way across, Father. I just pray, Father, that you would start to fulfill those needs, Father, the physical needs, the spiritual needs, the emotional needs, the mental needs, Father. Um, we've been here for so long, and it feels overwhelming and discouraging, but I pray, Father, that you would give us victory in mm. all these areas and that we would walk in abundance, in abundance of your Holy Spirit, in abundance of your provision, that um, we would be leaning more on um on you and what you can do for us father and what you 
um, have seen us through so many times that we would look back and we would see father your faithfulness and your goodness and that we would not walk in discouragement or um, um, lacking I just pray father that we would walk in in, uh, in victory we just praise you father for your goodness Ooh. <coughs> Friend Kim Morton's son passed away yesterday morning. Lucas was her youngest. Father, we pray mm -hmm. over Kim and her family that you would encourage them <coughs> in this time, that um, your comfort would be upon them, that they would have a purpose. God, I pray um, for uh, the outcome, Lord, of, of this situation to bring your glory into this family. I pray that, that uh, friends and family would step up around them mm -hmm. and... Once again, that they wouldn't be overwhelmed. I pray, God, for spiritual release. May you flood them with goodness. May you, may you not let this control them, Lord. Help them see this in the right perspective in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. I confess I don't understand where God is leading me. I will keep the faith in him. Come Amen. on. Father, we pray over Amen. Kathy right now that she, even though she doesn't see it, she knows it's there. Make the path straight, God. Allow this path to bring her into her destiny. We need to speak that again. That this path, Lord, that you're causing Kathy to be on, lead it to her God-given destiny. Yes, Lord. Fulfill, Lord, her heart and her life. Let her be of great value mm -hmm. in this thing to come. In Jesus' name. Come on. Father, mm -hmm. I want to I double portion be poured out upon Cindy Kelly. I pray, Amen. God, that you would not allow her uh, to be disconnected anytime, Amen. anywhere. Amen. I also Jesus. pray, God, that uh, things would be more orderly than what she thinks. Amen. That order and that structure is going to hold the way. Ooh, ooh. Father, I pray that she can trust. She has greater faith and trust in you to hold the weight Amen. that you're going to put upon her. And glory is weight. So, Lord, I pray that you would give to Cindy more glory Amen. in Jesus name Amen. our new friends are flying back home to Michigan tomorrow father we pray over this flight we Amen. thank you Lord that uh, these new friends were successful we yes. pray God that as they fly back they take more back with them than when they came Amen. Ooh, may your spirit go before them may you lay upon them Lord divine structure divine order and divine blessing Amen. and I pray Jesus. for once again, the spillover for <coughs> John and Andrea. And I pray, God, for a greater expansion in their business. A greater opportunity to share all these things that you have created and their walk with you with other people. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, guys, we're taking in prayer requests. And, and before we do, uh, we'll go ahead and send the prayer requests. But why... While we were praying, I saw two things. And, and the first one I can explain, I saw a door. And the door was obstructing a situation. And I'm thinking, okay, what, does, what needs to happen to the door? And then I saw the door being unhinged. Not open or closed, but unhinged. And here's why. Because the person keeps shutting the door and keeping God out. So that we need God to unhinge the door so that they can't close it on themselves. The second thing is, I, it was weird. It was like a, a woman's garment, but they had strings underneath here. Strings. Like, uh, I don't know what you call those things. Fringe. Fringe. And when the, they held their arms up, things were, it was almost like water dropping off the fringes. But it was blessing. It was blessing. They were so overflowed with the presence of God that blessings are actually dropping down like water droplets. Mm -hmm. Father, we pray for Dave. We pray, God, that you would help him and that you would just take care of these injuries. We pray, God, that you would take care of his discouragement. I pray that Dave would see a bigger purpose. I pray yes. for Dave to be comforted. I pray for Dave, Lord, to have some joy. I pray that their home would have more joy. God, just blow through their house a fresh breath and drive out the heaviness. Yes. Let, let, the, let the peace of God take control. 
We pray for Dave's stability. We pray for strength in his step. And we pray, God, that you would fill their place full of light. Release your love in greater waves. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can I get that one? All right. Uh, Father God, we lift up Kelly. Um, we lift up the Hackett's to you. We pray for their health. We pray, Father, that you would help mm. Kelly in her own body, that you would do, uh, that you would go before her, that you would guard over her and protect her, that you would give the doctors wisdom and understanding and what they need to do. And I pray, Father, that um, as they're not feeling good right now, I pray, Father, for your healing hand Come to be on. upon their physical bodies. I pray for Izzy, and I just pray, Father, that um, the sickness would blow through their home quickly yes. and that it would be... Um, mild and that they would be able to be restored in their health and i pray father that as kelly um has a full plate she always has a full plate father she's a mom of of kids and i pray father that you would give her a double portion mm. a double portion of of the ability to do what she needs to do and i pray father that you'd give her a double portion um in her own mind and her body that you would heal those areas that um um she is struggling with right now father and i just pray father that you would give her just a fresh touch that she would also find time to rest that she would find peace and rest and that um she would be able to just do what she needs to do but also to have rest lord yes lord. In jesus name in jesus name when you're praying for cindy i saw a rope with three strands Two of the strands are tight, tight knitted, and one is loose. I see the loose one getting closer, and as it's getting closer, the strand became tighter and tighter. I agree with that. Amen. That's a good word. Father, I pray that this pro prophetic word would reveal um, a situation to Cindy, Lord, that's going to cause her great benefit and great confidence in you. And I pray, God, for um, an increase in this, in this situation. Pray that Jesus can help me stay focused and my mind not be scattered, mm -hmm. that I can find out what I'm to do for the kingdom. All glory to God. Amen. Father, Amen. we pray over Samantha right now. We pray that you would give her greater understanding, greater direction in what to do and how to serve you. I pray, God, that um, I just see a, a heaviness. It's like her past is trying to run behind her and catch up to her god like when a when a child realizes his parents is walking away and they try to catch up her past is trying to come upon her and i pray that you would stand guard over her you would not allow the past to dictate her future yes, and i pray for more understanding i pray god for um i pray for a gift to be given to samantha a gift that reveals her great value in you and I pray that it would just change her countenance. It would change her um, outlook. how her outlook. Amen. It would also change the direction of her life. We pray, God, for a Holy Spirit intervention. Yes, Lord. And not that she's necessarily going off path, God, but we still need a Holy Spirit intervention so that she stays connected and she yes, continues to grow the right way. Yes. You're doing things that she can't see yet, but it's going to produce much more in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Pray for John Johnson, lead Hansen. pastor. Jan, oh, John Hansen, lead pastor. Um, Centerpoint. Centerpoint had a tumor removed from his spine. He's in pain. Father, we pray over your servant, John Hansen. Mm. God, that you would help him recover. Yes. That you would drive away the pain. That mm. he would feel your touch upon his body. He would have um, a new perspective. He can sense angels in the room with him. I pray that you would stir up the atmosphere of love around him and that you would bring them, him through this, God. Yes. Deeply connected to you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray over our nation, God. We pray for revival. Amen. Bring in the latter rain. Bring in the latter rain, God. Help us in revival. Help us come together. Help us proclaim the name of the Lord wherever we go. And I pray that you do a greater work. You get Father God, I lift up Virginia too. And I just pray, Father, for her family members that are struggling with COVID right now. I pray, Father, that um, your healing hand would be upon them right now. I pray, Father, for mild symptoms. I pray, Father, mm. that they would be able to be restored. That they would be able to take a, a breath. 
and mm. not feel panicked or not feel anxious. I pray, Father God, that your healing hand would be upon them. And I pray, Father, that every time that she thinks of them, that she would intercede on their behalf as well. We pray, Father, for supernatural healing, that you would give the doctors wisdom and understanding and that they would be restored to good health again. Mm. Mm. Praying against discouragement with so many people in our valley. Everyone I've spoken to lately is suffering somehow. Fresh hope and value that God has, that God hears the cries of our heart. Father, we pray for that fresh hope and fresh value. Mm -hmm. And Lord, that isolation wouldn't, ooh, isolation wouldn't dictate our thinking. Yes. That we would um, be more involved in different ways than we've ever been. And that if we have free time, we would use that time to pray and seek your face. And I pray, God, for a fresh outpouring in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll pray for this one. I got the book this morning, Carrie, and I've started it already, so it's really good. Victoria Rose Merrill, she had some major ankle surgery, asking for prayers of complete healing so she never has to go through this pain again. Father, we pray over Victoria Rose right now and that you would strengthen the bones that you would knit them back together and that you would allow her mobility. I pray that she does not have to endure this again. I pray that she's comforted physically and spiritually. And I pray, God, that she, oh, I, I see a level increase. Mm. I pray that she, she goes to the next level. She experiences, Lord, um, your presence like never before. And, ooh, that she knows that she's wanted. Mm. That she knows that she is wanted. In Jesus' name. Father God, I lift up Donnie to you too. I pray that you'd help him to be a calm little boy while, her, while his mom recovers. I pray, Father, that um, she would not be worried about um, having to take care of him, that she would have that support that she needs to be able to heal, and that he would um, just be able to be a little boy. But I just pray for that extra support and that extra help in their home. Mm, mm. <clears throat> yes, amen. Praying for protection over those exposing and purging the works of the enemy. Protect those on the front lines. Renew their strength. Keep them and their families safe. And I pray for breakthrough, God. Mm -hmm. I pray for breakthrough. As the enemy forms his lines, God, lay the church and the body of Christ form lines. And may we push forward for breakthrough. And I pray that you expose the evil and that you would allow, Lord, truth to rule and reign. In Jesus' name. Amen. Show Samantha how to rest in you, Lord. Show her how you want to slow her mind so she can hear you. Samantha, I needed help with focusing. I found med meditating while doing yoga was a way to slow down my mind. And that's where I learned to slow down and rest and wait on Jesus. Not saying this is what you need to do, but this helped me. Amen. Amen. Ooh. Pray for God's spirit to move over our country in revival. Oh, awaken the church, lead the prodigals home. That's mm. a good word. Father, we pray. We pray, God, that you would awaken the church. It's almost like getting zapped with a taser, God. Wake up the church. Zap us, God, mm. so that we would not be complacent and we'd get moving in Jesus' name. Mm. Pray for Billy Bostader, who is going through back surgery next month. It's a lot of pain and needs some relief father we pray that um that billy has comfort and his body is prepped mm -hmm. and that the back surgery would do the right thing and not bring him into more pain we pray god that you would just help him rest in you i feel like he's trying to hold things together help him rest mm -hmm. in you and lord we pray that he comes out better than when he went in mm -hmm. amen Amen. Protection, encouragement, and strength. All right, guys, we're taking in prayer requests, praying as God gives us guidance. Father God, I lift up Nina to you, and I just pray mm. that you be with her right now as she's um, in a lot of pain and she's struggling right now. I just pray, Father, that you would just give her rest, that you would allow her to have um, a deep breath, mm. that you would... Um, healed the pain that she's feeling in her stomach right now and i just pray father that um as she heals from covid that you would just be with her and guard over her and protect her help her to um just find rest and peace and healing amen amen all 
Father, I pray for um, Danny's Bible study and him. I pray that it would function um, under your anointing tonight, that Mm -hmm. people would get deeper into the Word of God, people would experience comfort, hope, and victory. I pray, God, that you would just help um, Corey and, and Danny to really step up. I also pray for Michael and Michelle and the yes, coming Lord. Bible study that we're going to do after Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving to lay a great foundation in so many in him. Mm-hmm. And uh, we just ask God for your spirit to do more. We also pray over Corey and the new um, worship opportunities that you're providing. And I pray, God, that he is totally free in you. Mm-hmm. And I and I just ask for greater opportunities there, Lord. Let me get that one. Which one? Okay. Uh, Kelly? Kelly. Father, I lift up Tara to, to you, and I pray that you would be here with her tomorrow, that she have um, an amazing year. I pray, Father, for um, just a new new outlook, new perspective. I pray, Father, that you would draw her closer to you. Mm-hmm. I pray, Father, that you would give her new opportunities to be able to do Um, more for your kingdom and I pray father that she would know that she is loved Mm -hmm. and that she is important and that she is blessed and I pray father that we would come alongside of her and support her and encourage her and just be um, be um, good brothers and sisters in Christ to her father amen I pray for those in authority in all the Christian churches in our nation that they all have dreams that are exactly the same message that all pastors see each other clearly and come together through the Holy Spirit. Join them as modern day apostles, yielding and obeying to your spirit only. Amen. Position saints and prepare us for the battle for our nation, for your body and for truth to be revealed. These things are tied together. Father, we pray for leadership to come together. We pray, God, for the body of Christ, the spirit-filled believers to come together and that we would function, Lord, in your calling for us, not in our own understanding and not in our in our own positions, God, that we would, ooh, we would come back in line. I just got a picture of um, us all in a long line, like an assembly line, and God is giving us different pieces of armor or different weapons to use mm. in preparing for battle. Mm. Mm. And Father, I pray that we would begin to function as one. Yes. As you and the Father are one. Mm. Amen. Lord, thank you for hear- hearing our prayers, for your beautiful answers that the more we ask in the spirit, the more we are in amazement at your goodness. Thank you, Jesus, whom we are in you. Amen. Praise God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Praying for amazing opportunities presented to you. Amen. Yes. Father, we pray over Ali right now. We pray, God, over her mental and physical health. Mm -hmm. We pray over her future, God. We pray over her future, that her future's different than what she imagines, that it would be much better than what she can imagine. We pray for her mentality to really be infused Mm -hmm. with the Spirit, that your Spirit would speak into her mind and that you would disperse the negativity. I pray, God, that you would fill her up. And I also pray, God, that there is a greater... Um, release in her body of health. I pray, Father, that your Holy Spirit voice would be louder than the voices that she's hearing now. Mm. That you would um, super shadow um, the things that are coming upon her and the thoughts that are coming into her mind. I pray, Father, that your Holy Spirit would be more and more powerful than what she um, has been listening to Mm. and that she would start to be able to to distinguish between your voice and the voice of the enemy and she would um, repel that that is not of you. Amen. Can I get this one from Ray? Probably easier. All right. Prayers for clutterness in my mind, that I may hear him when he speaks to me, that my weak faith becomes stronger for my strength when I feel tired and overwhelmed, for healing, to teach me to be 
patient as he works in me and the plan that he has insti instilled instituted. instituted for me his time and not my mind for when i see no way possible with god anything is possible father god i lift up maria to you and i just pray father that you would come alongside of her that you would be the support that she needs that you would be the one that she leans on the one that she um draw strength from and encouragement from and i pray father that you would guard over her and mm. protect her that you would help her to raise her daughter and i pray father that you would give her the strength that she needs the um the focus and the and the center that she needs father that she would not be swayed by any other thoughts or any other um, voices, but that she would be fine tuned to what you have for her mm. and that you would be her everything, her all in all, and that she would know that you are never going to leave her and you're never going to forsake her. Ooh, ooh. Father, I pray for Maria to be in tune mm. to your spirit. I pray for Maria to um, be in rhythm, Lord, mm. as she walks and as she lives and that life would be performed through her and you're going to do greater works in and through her and it and it's not going to put extra weight god she shows up and she watches you do it it's going to lead to bigger blessings in jesus name amen amen i pray for warfare in the name of jesus christ and the and what his authority to break bondages in each life before he it leads to physical infirmities to break the bondage of stress and claim the victory of our inheritance amen Amen. We pray, God, mm -hmm. that you'd break bondages and you would bring in the inheritance. You would bring in the inheritance, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Whew. All right, guys, we're taking in prayer requests. we got about 15 minutes to pray. Oh, that was quick. And uh, we just want to glorify God. Mm -hmm. We want to glorify the Lord. Father, I pray for that person that's struggling memorizing scripture. Mm. They're having a hard time, Lord, remembering. And I pray that it would just be a, a gift to them. All mm. of a sudden, the scriptures start flooding their mind. Amen. And what once was hard is now a gift. It's easy and it's light. Mm. And I pray, Father, for teachers to be raised up. I pray for worship leaders to be raised up. I pray for Sunday school teachers to be raised up. Yes. I pray for pastors and elders and deacons to be raised up. That You said the labor is plentiful, but we need more laborers. God, raise up the laborers yes. to go out into the harvest. And I pray that the harvest is bigger. Mm. Favorable outcome in my taxes. Father, we pray, we pray that you would grab a hold of Amy's taxes mm -hmm. and Lord that you would claim it as your own that it's your finances Amy's a steward and Lord I pray that you would take ownership and that you would deliver her from the trials and the tribulations and the stress of ownership yes. deliver her Lord to be a manager and I pray that you would take mm -hmm. care of those things that are beyond her control and Lord let let there be hope through this and I pray that you'd remove the cloud of heaviness around her right now in Jesus' name. Put her feet firmly planted so that she will not be moved in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Norma's really trying daily to find us a house. Every time he thinks he is, this is the one, it falls through. Without a home, I can't go next week. That we both have a bigger faith, hope, trust, and would even become closer, even... Even through, even through, even though through we're in different states. Thank you, Lord. Father, we pray for Norm to find a home. We pray, God, that you illuminate the right one, that you would allow it to come to pass, and it would be uh, a financial benefit, not a financial burden, in Jesus' name. Father God, I pray that you be in the details. Um, as I've talked to Carrie about this before, God is in the details. And I pray, Father, that um, she would lean and, and distrust you. And um, it's your timing, Lord. It's not our timing. If it was our timing, we'd have it now already. Mm -hmm. But you're leading her to the right place. And I pray, Father, that she would just continue to trust you 
and that you would continue to um, just guard over her and protect her. And I pray, Father, that you'd help Norm to find the perfect place, that you would lead him to the perfect home that they need. Mm, mm. Jesus, I thank you for being with Maria right where she is. I thank you that you see her as healed and made whole just as you created her. Thank you for always being in the midst. I rebuke the voices that try to distract her from your voice in the name of Jesus. From this moment forth, your voice is going to be so clear that she's going to know it's you. She's going to understand the way you want her to understand your word. She will see herself the way you see her. No more second guessing who she is. Maria, I see you in the ball gown looking in the mirror with your face looking down god is lifting up your head and saying no more will you feel this way you are mine and i am yours you are a princess in the name of jesus Woo! amen Woo that's a good great word great word you want to catch that one all right pray for my heart that it may be in peace instead of anger <coughs> against the person hurting my family that the right words may come to my mind mouth and heart as i pray for them that i might find the strength I need to help my son and granddaughters get through this hard time. For he knows I have been seeking his word and he has led me to you. Father God, I pray. I pray, Father, that you would intervene in this situation. I pray that um, whatever is going on with the custody or um, um, that whatever this is, or whatever legal thing this is, Father, I pray that you would be... Um, mm right there in the midst and that you would be working all of those things out and i pray father that you'd give virginia um the ability to see these people even as they're hurting her family father through your eyes mm -hmm. and i pray father that this would be an opportunity for her to be able to um rise above it and to see them through your eyes and i pray father that she would begin to pray for them as hard as that is i pray father that you would help her to pray for them and that in in return father that you would honor her and that you would bless her and that you would hear her her um petition for her mm. family and for her her son and granddaughters and i just pray father that you would work out all of the details in this situation mm. and you are faithful and you will never forsake us, Lord. And I thank you for that. And I thank you, Father, for hearing those quiet um, moments in our in our minds, in our hearts, Father, when we don't know how to pray, Father, you know what we need. Father, I pray that you would change the paperwork. I just see, Lord, the, the paperwork shifting. And Lord, mm -hmm. thank you that you're going to show great favor to her family. And I pray that this person who has all this bitterness, mm -hmm. Lord, would be released from themselves. Mm -hmm. And, and change, Lord, what was meant for evil, used for good. Amen. In Jesus' name. Father, we pray over Elizabeth's family. We pray that you would strengthen them through the COVID. That you would not allow them to fall victim to it. That they would be healed and that they would be delivered. Thank you, Lord, that you're working things out. I pray that there's a medication. And I pray, God, that there's rest. And I pray that there's recovery so that what came upon them would leave quicker than it came in. Mm. Mm. Free them up from it in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you too, Maria. Miss you. Yeah, she's replying to Andrea, I think, too. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Andrea, man. Whew. It's been amazing. Encouragement. Thanks for Peace for it all. We're very blessed. Amen. Anxiety and fear leave and and be replaced with trust and peace. Carry here, God seeing. Ooh, He sees the big picture. Amen. 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 Let me get that one. Storm and chaos, be still in Jesus' name. Fill her atmosphere with Your peace. Woo. In Jesus' name. Father God, I lift up Angie to You, and I pray that You would be with her. Whatever um, struggles that she's going through right now, Father, You are right there with her. And I pray, Father, that you would give her peace, that you would calm the storm, that you would calm the chaos around her, and that you would set her on a firm foundation and that she would not be swayed. Mm. Ooh. Angie, you're a warrior. Mm. And those things that come into your mind, they're trying to get you focused off of your role. You have a great strength in you and fight it. Fight it with the word of God and begin to declare it. Go outside and yell it if necessary. But you are a warrior. 
And I pray, Lord, that you would help Angie develop that skill of spiritual battle and that she sees, Lord, that these attacks will not bring her down. She's already victorious in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Father, we pray for family members to be reconciled in Jesus' name. We pray, God, that they would come together. Ooh, especially during these holidays and with all the garbage going on, we pray that we would be able to honor our families even more so. Mm. Give us the ability to have peace. Give us the ability to have joy through all these trials and tribulations in Jesus' name. Mm. Father God, I have to my mom too, and I just pray that you would guard over and protect her. I pray, Father, that if she's gone to the doctor today for um, just an ear, hopefully it's just an ear infection or an ear ache, I pray, Father, that you'd give her the right medication and that she would find rest and that she would have healing and peace. And I just pray, Father, that um, your will would be done. Um, I know we're not going to get to see each other next week, mm. but you are going to open up the opportunity for us to be able to be together Amen. again soon. Amen. The Holy Spirit's on the move through this time of prayer. Do you feel it? Thank you, Father. Mm. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, that you fight our, on our behalf. Thank you that you make a table for us in the presence of our enemies. Amen. Amen. Seating and securely in heavenly places above all principalities and powers. Help us see eternal significance. Amen. Stop touching it. Sorry. <laughs> all right. And you change your mind thoughts. You're hearing God's voice. Satan wants you to question it. But God is saying, yes, it is him. He wants you to press in even more than you are now. He has more for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Woo. amen, amen. and amen. Thank you. We miss you too, Angie, a lot. Yeah. We talk about you and Matt and how faithful you guys were. And we yeah. just miss you guys. Father, we pray that um, the anointing that people are experiencing right now, I pray that it, it would increase in intensity mm -hmm. and increase in duration. Thank you, Lord, Jesus. I pray that the anointing would increase in intensity and increase in duration right now. Mm -hmm. That we would be able to spend more quality time with you and be able to experience, Lord, greater things. Mm -hmm. I pray, God, for somebody's elbow. Right now, it's... It's uh, in great pain. It's They're having a hard time bending it out straight. I pray, God, that you would set it, um, set it back. Set it back. And remove, remove the discomfort in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Pray over the Taylors, their growing family, peace, love, and joy. Father, we pray over mm -hmm. the Taylors, their growing family, and I pray that you would bring them peace. I pray, God, that mm -hmm. you would... You would expand their borders mm. oh, and that you would bring your presence. Oh, I pray that you'd bring your presence in and that there would be, um, there'd be a drawing or coming together, whatever that looks like in Jesus name. Mm. Mm. Open our hearts to more of you. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, we got about four minutes to pray. Amen. So, uh, you got any prayer requests? Let's give let's lift them up to the lord also while we're waiting for some of these prayer requests at seven o'clock todd and sarah are going to go online live and teach a topical message with interaction looking forward to it go ahead amen father god i lift up tammy to you and i pray that you would um be with her right now I don't know what's going on, Father, but you're with her. You are um, right there with her. And I pray, Father, that um, you would knit those things together that are off and that she would find um, healing. And I pray that you would comfort her and that um, she would take the time that she needs to rest. And I pray, Father, that um, she would sit at your feet. I pray that she would spend time with you, that you would give her an opportunity to be able to... Um, um, just go out and get renewed and refreshed and that you would restore um, her back to good health in Jesus name as we were praying I got this word discover mm. don't know what it means but I got this word discover so father I pray however that works out it would bring great significance to the here in Jesus name mm. Brian's protect Brian's parents protected from COVID. Father, we pray for Brian's parents to be protected from COVID. Oh, I pray that you would raise up a Holy Spirit bubble around us. 
so that the body of Christ would begin to operate from better health and more protection from yes. disease. Yes. And I pray, God, that you would put it back on the enemy. Yes. Put it back on the enemy. Purity. Ooh, that's a good word. Father, cleanse us. Mm -hmm. Make us pure. Make us, ooh, here's another word. Presentable. Mm -hmm. Presentable. Mm. Mm. Jesus. Comfort us all. Amen. All right, guys, we just got a few more minutes for prayer requests. We're going to pray just for a few more minutes, and then uh, we'll close in just uh, just like two minutes. Father, I pray for all of those that are struggling right now with COVID, with loved ones and their families, even in our own home. Father, I just pray, Father, for um, those that are um, struggling. I pray, Father, that... Um, you would just guard over and protect them, that um, we would lift them up to you, that we would um, just be an encouragement to those that are struggling, that are not feeling good, that are having a hard time breathing, that are um, just um, not well. And I pray, mm -hmm. Father, for it to be um, mild, that you would minimize the affliction, that you would minimize the symptoms, the side effects, Father, and that you would allow us all to dwell again in good health. That this would not be something that the enemy um, is able to use to separate us, to um, keep us from fellowship. That it would not be something that would keep us in fear. Mm. I pray, Father, for victory in all of these areas, as I know so many are struggling with this right now. I pray, Father, that you'd give us victory and that we would not operate from a place of fear, but that you would go before us, Lord, and we would trust you. Ooh. Father, I pray for a closeness to be on our hearts and minds that you're drawing closer to us and we can draw closer to you. I pray, God, that you remove the heaviness over so many. Mm. The confusion, the doubts. Lord, it would be um, let the air out of the enemy's, ooh, let the air out of the enemy's voice. So we can't carry. Let us, Lord, discover who you are. I suddenly got a headache that came out of nowhere. I don't know if this is, but I hear God saying there is someone who has been having thoughts of suicide. She is feeling alone and unwanted. And not only by her family, but I by her peers. I keep hearing the word adoption. No, abortion. I keep hearing the word abortion. Sorry. God is saying your baby has always been with him and you ask for forgiveness and he has forgiven you. He says tonight is the night you will forgive yourself and that thoughts of suicide will not enter your mind anymore. Satan will not steal, will not kill or destroy you. God wants you life, love. God wants you wants to, live, to give you wants to give you life, love and restoration in Jesus name. Father, mm -hmm. I pray that this word would go out and it would impact the listener and mm -hmm. create great change in the way they view themselves and the way they live from this day forward. Mm -hmm. Stir it up, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, I, I also want to close in prayer that you would um, you would just remove the the you would remove the open doors for the attacks on the hackets mm -hmm. you'd remove that thing that allows the enemy to creep in yes. and i pray god for pushback that that doorway would be sealed and there would be pushback god and push mm -hmm. back in love push back by um peace and patience and all those things that uh, the fruit of the spirit brings yes. and father we thank you for everybody who's joined uh together with us tonight and mm -hmm. even those who joined in late, God, I pray that you'd refresh them, that you pour out your spirit upon them, that there would be blessings that can't be recounted. Thank you, Jesus. And that your mercies would be new tomorrow. Thank you. Lord. We love you and bless you, God. Thank you for the love that you have poured out to mm -hmm. us all tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We release all this to you, Lord. We are trusting in your move and thank you for your peace. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. Protect the family. This family. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Amen. Amen. Good night. See you in a few minutes. That was like over in the heart.